Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. So today we are going to proceed on how to solve a non-homogeneous equation by using method of undetermined coefficient case 2 whereby your fx is an exponential function. Okay, so as you can see here, we have two examples here, but to make it a uh, short video, so I will split these two examples in two different videos. Okay, so make sure you watch uh, both of the videos. So now, we are going to solve the first one. You are asked to find the general solution of y double prime plus y prime minus 2y is equals to 5 exponent 3x. Why this is case 2? Because your fx here is an exponential function. Case 2. Okay. So if you don't still understand why case 1, case 2, case 3, you may refer back in my previous uh, video. I already explained to you all this one. Okay. So now, by using the same uh, step and solving case 1, so we are using the same step to solve case 2. Okay. The only difference is just the function on the right hand side here. Okay. So the first step here, you have to find your yh by assuming fx is equals to 0 okay so you will have y double prime plus y prime minus 2y is equals to 0 so change this one into characteristic equation will give you m squared plus m minus 2 is equals to 0 so get a value of m by using a greater so you should get your m is equals to 1 and negative 2. So your m is equals to m1 is equals to 1, m2 is equals to negative 2. So as you can see here, you have two different values of m. So therefore, this is case 1. Okay. So write the general solution of case 1 for homogeneous solution will give you yh is equals to aemx m1x plus bem2x so what is your m1 m2 so this is your value for m1 and m2 so substitute these two value right into here will give you yh is equals to aex plus be negative 2x so now you already have your yh. Remember when you are solving non-homogeneous equation, your general solution is y is equals to yh plus yp. So now you already settle with this one. So next you are going to find your yp. So for your yp here, for you to find your yp, you have to know what is your fx. So this one, your fx is equals to, so take look at your differential equations given to you. The right hand side is your fx. Okay? So you have your fx is equals to 5 exponent 3x. Okay? So identify what is your alpha based on this fx. Your alpha is equals to 3. Where did you get the value of 3 is from here. Okay? If you don't still don't clear about this one, Please refer to my previous video, okay? So, since your alpha is equal to 3, so, and your fx is an exponential function, so we suggest that your yp must also be an exponential function. Since I'm, I'm already used constant a, b, so now I'm using c. c exponent 3x, because your alpha is equal to 3. Get it? So, what's next to do? Yes, you have to compare your yh and yp. Why you need to compare is for you to find what is the real yp. Okay? Is this yp is acceptable or not? Okay? So, that, therefore, you have to compare. So, by comparing yh and yp, 
you will have so your yh is equals to aex plus be negative 2x your yp is equals to c exponent 3x do you have any similar terms or function here no you don't because the power of the exponential here is different get it this is 1 this is negative 2 and this is 3 so therefore your yh is not equals to yp so you will choose this one as your yp okay so the next step when you have your yp you have to find the value of the constant c because at the end we just have you you have to make sure that you only have two constant a and b so that's why you need to find the value of c okay so what you need to do is you have to differentiate your yp based on your differential equation substitute into this one and compare with the right hand side for you to find the value of c okay so you will have y double prime plus y prime minus 2y is equals to 5 exponent 3x and your yp that you already choose is c exponent 3x so differentiate this one will give you differentiate exponent you get by exponent differentiate power you will have 3 so you will have 3c exponent 3x okay and you have to differentiate again why because you need that y double prime here okay we dif differentiate based on the given differential equation here because you're going to substitute all this one right into this one okay so again 3c is a constant so differentiate exponent will give you exponent and you have to differentiate the power here will give you 3 so therefore this one is equals to 9c exponent 3x okay so next you substitute all this y y prime and y double prime back into the, your differential equation will give you 9c exponent 3x plus 3c exponent 3x minus 2 c exponent 3x is equals to 5 exponent 3x so this one here simplify on your right hand side will give you 10c okay 10c exponent 3x is equals to 5 exponent 3x okay so this is the same um, function right the similar function so we just take the coefficient lah. so 10 c is equals to 5 therefore your c is equals to 5 over 10 which is equals to 1 over 2 okay so therefore your yp is equals to c exponent 3x so you will have your yp is equals to 1 over 2 exponent 3x okay this is sorry this is the third step okay so therefore the last one number four write the general solution of non-homogeneous equation y is equals to yh plus yp so what is your yh the one that you already calculate here which is this one aex plus b e negative 2 x so you will have AEX plus BE negative 2X plus 1 over 2 exponent 3X. Okay. So since you were asked to find a general solution, so therefore this is your general solution. Okay. So in my next video, I'm going to solve the second example whereby this one you were asked to find a particular solution okay so see you in my next video thank you bye